Welcome to our Titan Canopy installation video presented by Architectural Fabrication. First, let's take a look at the Titan's components list. Frame. Wall brackets. Canopy brackets. Standing seam roof panels. Overhead supports and flashing. When the units arrive, you'll need to locate the fasteners, hardware like brackets and overhead supports, sealant and touch up paint, and the approved shop drawings. Please note that each unit should be numbered and can be verified with the corresponding number in the schedule located in the install package. Once the canopy has been moved into position, it's time to install the canopy brackets. Once the holes are located, apply sealant as shown here. Now insert the bolts with washers through the top of the bracket. When these are in place, simply add the nuts and washers from the bottom side. Repeat this process on the other side. Once the brackets are secure, add some sealant around each edge. Once applied, use your finger to smooth out the edges. Again, repeat this process on the other side. Now we're ready to get our elevation measurement for the canopy. This measurement can be located on the cut section page in the approved submittals. Once the canopy is lifted to the proper elevation, we are ready to drill the pilot holes. For this, we are using a 3 8 masonry bit. Simply drill through the pre-drilled holes in the frame. Once drilled, go ahead and insert one fastener. Once the first fastener is in, go ahead and check your level. Once level, go ahead and drill your second pilot hole. Once drilled, go ahead and insert the fastener. Now we're ready to mark the wall for the wall brackets. Here we measure from the center of the canopy bracket to an adjacent point like the seam of the roof panel. We can use this measurement to mark the wall and then measure up for our wall bracket position. This measurement can also be found on the cut section page in the approved submittals.
Here, we use our level to assure a straight line up to the wall bracket position. Once the wall is marked, simply use your bracket and make the marks for your pilot holes. Once marked, go ahead and drill your pilot holes. Now go ahead and attach the wall bracket, but do not tighten the fasteners all the way. Check your level. Once level, go ahead and secure the fasteners. Now before we install the overhead supports, we need to check our canopy level. This may require some adjustment with the lift. When installing the overhead supports, always insert the clevis pin from the outside of the canopy. Insert the cotter pin and bend the end to secure. When attaching the overhead support to the canopy bracket, some adjusting may be required. To do this, simply turn the yoke in or out to get the adjustment you need. Again, insert the clevis pin from the outside of the canopy and insert the clevis pin and bend the end to secure. Now we need to install the flashing. Simply insert the screws to secure it to the wall so we can come back with sealant to seal it to the wall. Once the fasteners are in, you can go ahead and apply the sealant. Once applied, come back with your finger to smooth out the edge. Next, we need to wipe down the canopy. While wiping down the canopy, be sure and look for any nicks or scratches that might need touch-up paint. Here, we spray some touch-up paint into the lid so we can use our brush to apply the touch-up paint. If there were any nicks or scratches found, we need to touch those up as well as all the fasteners. Once all the touching up is finished, all you need to do is take some good completion photos and you're done. You're ready for the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, please visit our website at www.arch-fab.com. Thank you.